sites in Wynnum, an amazing free camp and one of the most famous water crossings. Welcome to the Northern Kimberley. town of Wyndham has to offer, we met up with our good friends Benny and Sally from Kimberly Dreaming, who took us to see a spectacular sunset on the mudflats. If I told you, we can just run away, so come my darling, let me help you, we can follow the sun and leave the rain for somebody else. Help ourselves Leave our troubles Upon the shelf and Don't you worry We're gonna find All we need In our sunset paradise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We only drove about 30 kilometers on bitumen before we ended up airing down again. So we have left Wyndham and we are, of course, taking the back roads down to Kununara because we got told some secret spots on the way that we'll show you, but we can't tell you where they are. Here we are at this wonderful billabong. Australia is a bit different and if you've ever wondered why it's because roads like these are on Google Maps. <laughs> it's definitely a gazetted road. It's just a normal road, right? Yeah, yeah. Bitumen and light line markings and all. Yeah. It's a bit narrow. Build up started, so there are clouds rolling in everywhere, and it might even rain today. What do you reckon? I mean, good and bad. Yeah, you don't want to be on mud flats and these kind of roads when it's raining, but it would be cool to see, I reckon. 
nicer when it rains because it actually cools off yeah. a bit afterwards. So we'll see how it goes. There's a tree, so I'm spotting that my little handheld. Okay, one time. I have some of them hiding me the blood from the room. I think there's a bit of the bank out. There was actually a bit of space because also it was rutted on the ground so we were leaning to that side so we were lower and now we should pretty much be through. I'll film it from the outside. Here comes the forest mob. This mob. <laughs> that live here and it's their spot so we can share it but just look at the footage it's amazing I can see birds flying I see children smiling When I think about All of the things that you and me could be
I want to be with you both day and night. We are on the croc hunt. It's not a hunt, we just want to see it because the other guy that's been staying here for a couple of days told us that there's a five meter salty. Yeah. So we're gonna go try and pet it. <laughs> not just the crocs we have to be careful of it's snakes as well because of our safe and secure footwear <laughs> when I think about all of the things that you and me could be I want to be with you both day and night to Sit on the grass beneath the moonlight I know that life won't last forever But at least we can grow old together We couldn't spot one earlier. We know there are some though. So now we went outside with our spotlight. And there's something going on behind here. so many you can barely see it it's there you can see the eyes look there's bushes there <laughs> it was a bit of a, on an angle at the start before yeah, yeah. the other tire came out. Holy <laughs> <Only> moly. <laughs>
check out this amazing waterfall. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you have to delete this video. I know I'm gonna use it, that's <laughs> No water flowing. We have just done Ivanhoe Crossing probably about three times. <laughs> It's a free car wash. It's amazing. There's heaps of water flowing at the moment. And Patrick went through a bit fast. So we even had water in our windscreen. It came in here. And if you think about it, like the Unimog is so high. The tires are about 118 in diameter, 1 meter 18. And the water came up here. So that's about two meters. How did you like it? That was fun. The <laughs> Unimog's all clean now. <laughs> Before we leave Panara, Molly Springs. It's a two and a half kilometer off road track to get in, but it's super easy, just a bit rocky. And then a one kilometer walk in and back. <laughs> now, this whole park where Molly Springs is located is actually owned by the local Aboriginal people and managed with park and, Parks and Wildlife. So it says no camping, no fires. Please respect that because the local uh, traditional owners are letting everyone come here to enjoy these places, so respect it. Thank you. Because we want to keep coming here even a few years down the road. That's right, and if people keep camping and having fires and trash in the place, then they're just gonna close it. And also there is a 24 hour rest area, just um, 10 kilometers down the road. That's actually where we stayed last night as well. So it's not too far. Are you getting in? After checking out all the natural wonders in the Northern Kimberley, there was one more place Yele had to visit before we could leave Kananara. Good morning, it is 5 o'clock and we are now getting up and helping the volunteers here just to see what life is like if you rescue all these animals, feed them, feed the babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's so happy to be awake. <laughs> Kangaroo Haven is a family-owned sanctuary for Australian wildlife, especially kangaroos and wallabies. Mandy really lives for these animals. If you want to see the behind the scenes, you can book a tour and if you would like to support Mandy's work, check out the website at kangaroohavenwildliferescue.com.au Hmm. 
Do you get attached to them? Very much. Yeah. I'm going to say. 844. I don't mind any. Like, I like the heat more than rainy, oh, cold oh, okay. every day. Yeah, for sure. Getting a wash. Clean by kangaroo. Yeah. So here you can donate um, cans and bottles for Kangaroo Haven. It's pretty good. Um, someone stole one recently, which is honestly a pretty sad thing. So now we'll chuck our bottle in there. <laughs> you reckon I can do it? It's pretty windy. See? Yeah, three, three points! points. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're aired down. We are pretty much right next to the turnoff to the Bungle Bungles. Are you ready? Yeah. 